All right, so a couple of things that we've already done. For example, LS will list your files and folders. Okay, but these are all folders, so they're blue. And also remember um, when you want to open up console, you want to just right click and do open terminal. You can also do applications and it's probably in your favorites if you've used it before. If not, it should be in the utilities down there. Okay, but we already have it open. Okay, LS to display. Okay, uh, double click a folder. Okay, so there is uh, parts in your textbook, which is really cool. And it, uh, they actually, they actually work for many different ways, even in Windows. So for example, right here, it says copy. You can actually just double click uh, a name of something and it will highlight it. So that's just one of the, of course, the first step in copying is to highlight whatever you want to copy and then copy it. But there are shortcuts to highlighting. You can double click. And if you wanted the entire line, you can actually triple click. And you can do that in many different uh, places. And I actually use that quite a, quite, uh, quite a lot. It saves time, I think. So anyway, uh, back to the command line, you can double click a folder and right click and copy. So if I double click this, I right click and copy, and then I can right click and paste. That's cool, especially if there's a really long uh, folder that you have there or file, it's just so much easier to just copy and paste it. You know, but downloads is kind of short. But anyway, you've seen previously that some file names or commands can be really long. So that is really helpful. One thing that's different too is that uh, if you double click or well, even if you just highlight, uh, when we were in the command line prompt and in PowerShell, you could actually just right click and it'll copy automatically. But in uh, Linux, you actually have to right click and then copy. Okay. Okay, that is interesting. Okay, uh, David asks, is there a way to adjust what you copy left or right by one space? Uh, yes, in a way, because when you highlight something, you can actually just use the, hold down the shift key. Yeah, shift, and then you could just um, uh, go left or right. Typically, now it looks like in Linux, you can't do that. But I'm actually doing left and right, and it's doing C's and D's. But if you typically uh, highlight something and do the arrow keys toward the right, you can highlight. So you can do it in Windows, but not in uh, Linux. So I actually use that quite a bit too. Sometimes you highlight something, but you forget one thing. So you could just, and, and also it depends on where you start highlighting. So if you start from the right to the left, then you can adjust the highlight that way, but you can't go the other way around. If you start from left to right, you can extend or decrease on the right-hand side. Uh, another thing too is you could even um, uh, go down or up a line depending on how you started. So, good question. I love being able to save time in any sort of typing. Decreasing the amount of typing I do is best. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, so uh, if you want to make the text larger, you would just click on view and then zoom in. So here's view, you can zoom in so it makes it larger. But of course, things start wrapping. 
view and then zoom out. And now you're back to where you were. You can also change colors by clicking on view and then profile preferences and lots of different things you can change just like you did in Windows. I'm not going to go through uh, them, but I definitely recommend you going through them. And but if you want to change the colors, just like we did with the uh, command prompt in PowerShell, you could just take off this uh, users uh, use the system thing and create your own. But I wouldn't recommend that if you're using uh, somebody else's computer. All right. So that is it for activity eight four.